Well, one thing I've really noticed this year, and I know that obviously we've come off the back of COVID, so we've all been in lockdown. I've noticed that you've been getting out and about and doing a lot. There's been, you went to Tassie, you did a lot of traveling there, went to the snow, which looked just idyllic, but wineries. I noticed you were on a bit of a shark dive last week. You seem happy, relaxed, and just in a really good space. Is that how you're feeling or are you just doing it for the, the Instagram stories? <laughs> no, I, I would rather not have Instagram, but understand it's a big part of what we have to do. But uh, I couldn't be happier, to be honest. Um, you know, the whole COVID thing, I had a horrendous little period personally. Um, then the whole COVID thing just threw more on top of it. Um, you know, I've met an amazing girl now and she's been fantastic for me and everything's going great with the kids. Sahara's 13, uh, boyfriends, all sorts of stuff. Cadell's 11. Um, he's just got his first season of NRL and he's playing so well. And, you know, it's upsetting that I can't be at all these games. But like he's, we were at training last night and his coach pulled me inside and was saying how well he's doing. And it's just, yeah, everything's just going really well for me. I, you know, got my place. I'm doing all the renovations here. We've got the guys here doing the bathroom or the plumbers doing the rough in at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm just pumped being alive. I think last year was a big, um, I suppose a reality check maybe in some ways in that, you know, when the whole Team Sydney thing was just, at that point when I jumped out, I realised it could possibly be the end of everything. Um, but then to have the backing of Peter and Boost, everyone at Boost and, the, and um, all the guys at EFS Soul and whatever to get behind me and, you know, to have that network of people that have got the faith in you that you can still do it and, and um, sort of work with you to put a program together and then the results and speed we had with Tickford last year was was awesome. Um, you know, and working along with Cam and Jack and Lee last year was really, really good. It's what impressed me so much with that group is how harmonious it is with such a big network, like such a big group of people. I've never been in a team that's been so much a team. Like it's a silly thing to say, but at Tickford it is one team and it is um, a really nice environment to work in and that's when you're enjoying the environment you're working in it, everyone lifts and you know, that's what I'm doing. It's, it's it's just a cool place. You know, personally with Tegan, it's fantastic. The kids are healthy, both doing very well in, in what they're choosing. Everything's coming together with the house. The team's fantastic work environment. The car's got good speed. I'm enjoying working with Brad, my engineer. Um, results are, are pretty good. Um, yeah, just everything's, everything's working, so. It, um, to be 40, still enjoying it as much as what I am, I could, um, I could do this forever, I think. It's, um, yeah, I don't want to be stopping anytime soon. <laughs>